Rhode Island Spirits is a small local craft distillery. We make Rhodium brand gins, vodkas, and liqueurs. We are in a historic mill. Uh, we are just a bridge up from where it all began at Slater Mill. We have a big space in a mill right on the Blackstone River. Half of it is a big, wide open, bright tasting room where we've got tables and chairs, but also couches and a fireplace and a sizable bar. On the other side of the distillery is where we actually have the stills and our equipment and our ingredients and things like that. We started as a gin distillery because we love gin. So we have a classic cocktail gin, we have a forager's gin that's our botanical flavor, has a lot of locally foraged ingredients in it. And we branched out really early on and realized that vodka was an obvious thing to do. And our vodka actually gets distilled with some local apples. So it's not made of apple, all of our spirits are corn based, but we put apples in the still for the last vodka distillation because it gives it a really smooth finish and a really nice local connection. We have a couple of flavored vodkas, coffee and black walnut flavored vodka, something we call Rhode Island Red. No chickens were harmed in the making. It's flavored with local cranberries, tart cherries, and then a whole range of other botanicals. And then we also do a limoncello and a grapefruit cello for the liqueur side. So a little something for everyone. Kara and I moved here in 2016. We had spent the previous couple of years in England. And we did that right when craft gin distilling was really taking off. So we were really lucky we had the chance to go to small craft distilleries, places that used local flavors, that foraged local ingredients, that did really distinctive gins. And we really kind of fell in love with the whole concept. Unbeknownst to us, we were actually honing our gin appreciation skills there. And also really dialed in on how a local ingredient can inform a product and just make it quite special and unique. When we came back to the States and settled in Rhode Island, it just looked like the perfect place to do that because there's so much opportunity to use local ingredients here. And it gave us an opportunity to do really distinctive, wonderful products that could really only come from here. The tasting room has been a really fun place to have people of all kinds come in and spend time. Amy is our delightful tasting room manager. Our cocktail menu changes as Amy comes up with brilliant new ideas and as we feed her the new releases and different products that are coming out. I love a fancy cocktail and these are quite nice, but these are also things that you could acquire and achieve at home and we're happy to give you the recipe. It's actually one of the best things about having this company is really our opportunity to spend time with people and talk to them about what the products are and why we do what we do and get their feedback. Come in for a cocktail or come in for grandma's birthday or come in meeting with friends they haven't seen in a while while the kids color. All ages, all really very, very diverse, which is kind of exciting that you can have a true reflection of the community, be here and be comfortable and stay a while. Have a good time, relax.